Hey there, this is Neil Napier here. Now, a question came up within the Insta Suite group, uh, the Facebook group, and uh, which I can show you is right here. And I can link to it underneath the video as well. But a question came up asking about Insta Suite, and, and I wanted to talk about it a bit more. So the question was, I'd like to know the best way to set up online learning courses using Insta Suite. Can we just post the videos or should we set up a free membership site and have the videos for sale in there? Also, I've been through some of the training a while ago, still not sure what InstaSuite actually is. It's labeled a marketing platform. Is it a WordPress plugin or does it run on WordPress at all? So it's a, it's a very broad question, as you can imagine. And I wanted to shoot this video to kind of help you, to walk you through basically what is uh, InstaSuite and what you can do with it. Now, let me go into tutorials here. So let me just uh, minimize this. Okay, so there's a complete tutorials page inside of InstaSuite, in fact, I think, let me just check, is it available outside as well? Yeah, it's available outside as well. And I'll make sure that we make it available more publicly on the InstaSuite site. So first of all, I would recommend that if you are stuck uh, at InstaSuite as to what it is, how you can use it, you can go ahead and look through all the pages within this tutorial. Of course, the way the whole training has been structured is that you are walked through each and every aspect of the actual software. So the dashboard has its own sub pages where it shows you what each and everything does. There's text description, there's videos as well when necessary. So you can watch all of that and you can figure out exactly what it is you're dealing with. And the site's been built in a way that it's really easy to navigate as well, of course. So each and every aspect of the membership, which you will see right here, is covered in detailed training right over here. So if you are just starting out with InstaSuite, please click on tutorials and you can get up and running with it. Now, InstaSuite is a web-based platform. It's a SaaS platform. It's not a WordPress plugin simply because all this power couldn't be kept within one plugin. Most hosting that our customers use would simply reject something that big being hosted with them because it does contain you know, funnels, it contains membership sites, blogs, and much, much more than that. So in that sense, InstaSuite is completely web-based. Everything that you see is software as a service. So you get online from no matter which part of the world, you can get online from your mobile and you can run your business with it. Now, let's talk about exactly what InstaSuite is. InstaSuite is essentially an all-in-one marketing platform. Nothing like this has ever been done before. And I know this because I've used a lot of different software out there, even something like MemberHub or Everlesson or ClickFunnels, LeadPages, Convertry, they all do one or a few things competently, like really well, but they don't help you manage your entire business from one window. And this is the, this is the one big problem. I wanna show you this, by the way. So I use LastPass in my business. And uh, let me just show you my LastPass world here. I've got thousands and thousands of passwords saved, which basically means that I have thousands of different sites that I go to to run my business. And that's okay if it is necessary. But when you have your sales pages and funnels hosted on one place, then you have your membership site hosted on another place, you use another platform for affiliate management, and then you have another website for blogs, and then you have another website to create opt-in pages and to collect leads and to mail people. Basically, it becomes tiring it becomes really expensive as well. I mean, just to, to kind of walk you through some costs here. If I was to go for something like ClickFunnels, let's say basic level, or even the level where they have the membership sites, this is how much I would pay for this. So ClickFunnels has this, they have membership builder as well, they have list builder as well, and uh, well, as in you can email by them, you still need your own SMTP, and they have affiliate center as well within there. So they have these four things, and you're paying $297 a month, right? Then you can go for the blog, and of course it's free if you use WordPress, you can set up your own blog, but the problem with that is that you end up paying somewhere around, let's say, minimum $10 a month, just for the hosting itself. Then you also need to go for a support desk. There are free support desks available online, but really the best in the market charge about $15 per month per agent. So if you have five agents working in your support desk, which includes you, your support team, your developers, or your content writers, you're basically looking at another $75 per month here. So at the very least, you're looking at spending about $400 a month to adequately run a business in 
three, four, five, six different places. You can even try and go cheaper, but the problem now is that for all these six different aspects of your business, you are relying on six different pieces of software. And there's an inherent issue there. The inherent issue is that none of them talk to each other, right? So if you, let's say, build your pages in Convertry, and then you build your membership site in Member Hub, and you build your blog on WordPress, and you use JVZoo as an affiliate center, or you don't even use an affiliate center, you have Zendesk as support desk, and then you are marketing, you're emailing with something like GetResponse or Aweber. The most obvious issue there is that none of these are communicating to each other. So it's like, you know, both of your hands are not talking to each other. Imagine having a body where your legs, your hands, your eyes, your nose, all of your senses work separately from each other. It's complicated. We function so well as, as human beings is because all parts of a body communicate with each other rather through the brain, but it's all centralized. So InstaSuite is also centralized, which means that when a customer comes in through the funnel and let's say ends up in a membership website, then they automatically are followed through in the affiliate center and support desk and the list builder option as well. So this is the email marketing setup. So in that sense, it is quite imperative that you do whatever you can to centralize your business as much as possible. And this is a problem that most businesses face, ourselves included. We have six different logins for six different places. We pay $400 a month at the bare minimum to get all of these to work individually and to connect them together, there's no way. We can export Excel sheets, we can do a lot of different things, but we don't really have a central system that talks to each other. So this is one of the biggest issues that we are resolving with InstaSuite. But in your business, I know you don't wanna jump in right away and start doing everything. First, maybe you want to do sales funnels, then you need to build membership sites and so on. Having InstaSuite gives you access to each and everything. So if I was you, if I was starting out, here's what I would do. Number one, I would build a funnel. A funnel is a series of sales pages ending with a thank you page where you sell something. When you sell something, people will buy something from you and you will need to deliver it. You do that with the membership site. And when you have the membership site, then you might also want to educate your customers on other things related to your business, to their business, in which case you use blog. And when you publish a blog post or when you want to mail your customers, you do that using the list builder component of InstaSuite. When you know you have a winning product, when you know that you can invite affiliates, pay them anywhere between 20 and 50% commissions for making a sale on your behalf to their customers, then you can use the affiliate center to recruit those affiliates. And finally, you have the support desk, which means that if your customer has any technical issues, they want to tell you that something does or doesn't work well, they want to give feedback, testimonials, you can collect all of that using the support desk. Now, as I mentioned already, all of this is covered in much more detail within the training center, but I just want to go into the membership builder because Patty talked about it, and I want to show you how simple it is to set up a membership site. So when you go to the membership area, you can also visit the actual site and see what that looks like. So this is something that we just set up very quickly. I mean, obviously it doesn't even exist yet, but what you can do is you can name it whatever you want. So let's call this KV Social Members Area. And we'll call this, let's say we're selling product creation bootcamp. So let's call this bootcamp. And we want to sell this in USD. And if the product is set up, then you can choose to show all active products for your customers here. Okay, or you can show purchase products. This is a good thing because if you show only the purchase products, then they will see what they have. But if you show all active products, then what's going to happen is that they might want to buy some other products from you as well, which is great. Right. So then again, confirmation settings, you can either say this is yes or no uh, password. You know, this is again for you to basically do a one time setup. And all of this is covered within the tutorials. The thing I want to show you, though, is setting up a product. So this is one of the products that we set up. Let me go in and edit that product creation bootcamp. Right. So description can be simple. The price can be whatever you want and you can point it to a particular sales page, which you've set up before. So it could be any one of these, for example. You can allow people to upgrade as well from here on. And you can charge people 
whatever you want. So we've, we've hooked it up with PayPal. You can also hook it up with Zaxa or anything else that you want. We can set up the price level, let's say in this case is $97 right you can set up whatever you want and this is a paypal buy url that you need to put on the sales page okay then the action is when someone maybe let's say joins this members area then you can take them away from another one that's entirely up to you this is great if you have a funnel so if you have a main product but then you upgrade them to an advanced product what you really want to do is then take them off the main product and keep them only in the advanced product which also has the main product components then finally, you have the, uh, the actual content part. So to add a module, this is what Patty asked about. Simply click on add module, and then you can click on add content. This minimizes it, this maximizes it. Let's add content. Okay, there we go. This is lesson one, so I can have multiple lessons here. Let's add some more. There you go. You can change the access level. Let me show you what the page would look like. There you go. So the page isn't ready yet, right? You can change the access level. You can change who views it and you can change the URL as well if you want to. Again, for much more in-depth training, I would strongly recommend that you go through all of this. They're not very long training videos and I think it's an important component of what you're doing. Go through this step by step and like I mentioned, depending on what level of marketing, level of business you're at at the moment, you might not need all of them. Start with the funnel, create something where you can sell, put some content in membership area and you're good to go then you can bring in all the other components as well with the affiliate center coming in at the end, especially if you want to get new affiliates. So again, if you have any follow-up questions to this, let me know. I didn't want to go into too much depth with technicalities because I think a lot of it is already covered within here, within the training center.